The amount of solar lights that Dollar Tree brings every season is outstanding. I love them. They're great for your garden, your yard, but they are so good for crafting. And we're going to start with this tube style one. This is the first time I've seen this style at the Dollar Tree. I removed the sticker, but it left quite a bit of sticky residue. So I'm going to use Goo Gone if you've never used it. It's a little oily, but it does remove any goo from any sticky residue. So you just add a little bit on a rag and then wipe it off. Now you do have to really wipe it off, especially if you're going to paint or add anything to the surface. So I'm going to use a just a wipe, a disinfecting wipe just to remove that excess oil. All right, we're going to remove the steak because we're not going to need that part. And we're going to remove the top remove the little tag and make sure that it works. I always like to try them. That way I know for sure they work. I'm gonna put it back together and we're gonna place it on this little towel just to kind of hold it in place. Dollar Tree has an entire selection of stickers, including these rub-on ones that I love using. So we're gonna take one of these styles and we're gonna transfer them onto this light. Wait until you see how cute this turned out. All right, so cut off the B portion wiped the surface really well and then i'm just going to hold it in place and just start attaching it i'm going to use this scraper but you can also use maybe a credit card or a gift card whatever you have on hand and then look how cute that transferred it has a little bit of a distress and love that look i'm going to add a couple other little actually four little bees right around it just to add uh, i don't know just more style i guess and it was so easy to attach once they were there, it's looking so adorable already. You can leave as is, place it anywhere in your home, and at night, it'll light up, and it's so cute. But of course, I'm going to add a little bit of embellishments. This little yellow ribbon is from Dollar Tree, and it has a honeycomb style look, which is perfect for this. We're going to wrap it around the bottom edge, securing in place with hot glue and cutting off the excess. I'm going to add greenery to the front, but of course, you don't have to do this. You can skip this part if you'd like. I'm going to face one to each side and then Dollar Tree has these little insect stickers that are so cute. They're made out of wood and they already have a little sticky part to it, but I'm gonna add a little bit of glue and place one in the center of the greenery and then another one on the top. I just thought it needed a little friend. So we're gonna place that there and that's it. How cute is this? I'm gonna show you how it looks like in the dark and let me tell you is one of my favorites, which is why I put it first, but let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take this mason jar style, although it's a little fancier, it has this texture and look. I'm going to use this one for this project and then we're going to, of course, remove the sticker from the bottom and remove the lid because we're not going to need it. I'm going to wipe everything really well, removing any dust or smudges. And then we're going to take some Mod Podge. Now this is way too much Mod Podge. You do not need this much. I added a little bit of agave color Waverly Chalk Mint just to give it a tint. And then we're going to spread it around the surface on the outside of the jar. You don't have to worry about doing the thread on top, but I just wanted to give this a nice tint. Dollar Tree's crafting aisle has tons of wooden items that you can use for crafting, including plaques like this one. I love using these for crafts. Now they do come a little rough to the touch, so I'm just going to sand them down using my sanding block. Dollar Tree carries sanding blocks, sandpaper, just use whatever you have on hand. Dusted really, really well, and I'm just going to give it one coat of a sandstone Waverly chalk pen. We're going to do the sides and the top. This is what the jar is looking like. How cute. All right, we're going to paint the top using the Waverly chalk pen in the ink because it's very black. And we're just going to do the top, try to stay as steady as possible, but don't look for perfection. I did give it a couple of coats and let that dry. These little wooden turtles are so adorable. I love using these and I'm just going to cover up that little hole using some spackle. You can find this spackle at Dollar Tree in the automobile aisle. At least that's where I find it in mine. We're going to let that quickly dry and then we're going to give it a coat of Waverly Chalk Pen in the moss. And I'm going to do the front and the back. The jar is nicely dry and it's looking so good. So let's add the solar light. We're gonna add another one of those tube style. We're gonna remove the top. We're going to remove the tag, make sure that it works and it does. And then we're gonna place it right inside and it fits 
beautifully snug enough for it not to come off and it goes so well with that black rim isn't that nice all right we're just going to place that on top of the plaque I'm not going to hot glue it. It's not needed, but I am going to hot glue this orb. This is a nautical style orb. I'm just going to hot glue it right there. I am going to add this little starfish from Dollar Tree just to add a little bit of texture and design. And we're going to hot glue the turtle right there in the front. How adorable is this? It lights up so beautiful. Wait until you see it in the dark. I'd love to know what you think of this one. Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to start with a napkin. This one is beautiful. It has such a great design. I'm going to cut off the excess white. I'm not worried about it being completely around the design, just enough to cut off the excess. I'm going to use some masking tape to remove the ply. It's just a two ply and it makes it so much easier. And then we're going to Mod Podge it to the front of this beautiful jar you can find at Dollar Tree. It's in the candle aisle and I love that it has its own little hanging, like, tool i just love it all right we're going to remove the sticker from the bottom of course i used my heating tool for this one and then we're going to wipe it really well again because we are going to mod podge it i'm going to use the matte finish but you can use whatever you have and i'm just going to add a thin layer and continue to add the napkin all around the jar and then making sure that it's as straight as possible in the bottom edge Once it's completely attached, I do want to give it one extra coat on top. Not only did I do the entire portion where the napkin is, but I also did the glass portion just so that everything has the same finish in that matte tone. We're going to put it to the side and let it dry. Once dry, you can see how beautiful it turned out. We're going to use my exacto knife to just remove that excess paper right there, just making it nice and straight. And I do like that golden tone in the rim, but not for this design. So I'm just going to cover it up using this beautiful burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Secure it in the back with hot glue, wrap it around the rim, and then secure it again, cutting off the excess. Just to add a little texture and design to it, you can skip this part if you want, or you can add any other color ribbon you like. I thought it needed a little more texture and color, so I'm gonna take this cute little pink flower from Dollar Tree, remove the excess pick from the back, and we're gonna hot glue it to the right side of the jar. Right there, right next to where the rope starts. This is the solar light we're going to use for this project. We're going to remove the stake, but we're going to keep the glass portion and then we're going to place it right inside. I'm not going to hot glue it or anything. It's not needed. I love how cute, gentle, just so sweet of a project this is. Wait until you see it in the dark. Let me know what you think of this one. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to start with this mason jar is thrifted. This one is from the thrift store and we're just going to wipe it, remove dust and any smudge it. And then we are going to paint it white. I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the white. I'm going to do one heavy coat and let it dry. It's not needed if you, unless you want full coverage. I didn't want full coverage because we are going to be distressing it. We're going to put it to the side, let it dry. And this is what it looks like. See how it's not perfect and that's okay. We're going to use the wet distress technique. I'm just going to damp a piece of a rag and we're just going to start removing slowly. You want to do this very soft. Just start rubbing off the paint wherever it would naturally distress. Now you can skip this part if this is not your style. Let it be full coverage. That's okay. But I do like every so often to give it a farmhouse distress look. So I am just going to um, do that until I like what I see. We're going to use some burlap ribbon. We're going to fold it in half and wrap it around the top of the jar twice, securing it with hot glue. You can use any other ribbon you want. You can use rope, whatever you want. Now, I wanted to add another layer. So we're going to use the same ribbon we used in the previous project. And we're just going to layer it and stack it right there in the center, right there around the jar. Again, securing it with hot glue. This is going to be a vase where we're going to add some florals. I'm going to add greenery. I'm going to add some eucalyptus that I did get at Walmart. You can add whatever you want. Whatever you have from Dollar Tree is fine. This sunflower will also go right in there. It's 
gorgeous. Now this solar light is adorable. <laughs> it has the shape of a sunflower. So we're going to remove the paper. We're going to remove the stake. And then we're going to remove the little tab and make sure that it works, of course. And it does. And then we're going to place it right inside just to give the other uh, sunflower a little friend to hang out with. But look how adorable this is. And at night it lights up. Such a fun project and so easy. You can do whatever design you want on the vase. Love to know what you think of this one. Let me know down in the comments. I have another video here for you with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.